aware of two generations because my grandmother grew up on this land, so her family sugared this property. And my, oh, it would be free because my dad remembers sugaring here um, when he was a boy. Um, and then, and then we're here. When did you start using tin pails for collecting? Oh, we always have. Always. always. When or would you choose to move to tubes with a suction pump to suck out the syrup? Why or why not? I don't think we would, Ben, because we just do this as kind of a backyard, small operation, and we really enjoy just doing the buckets. A hobby. Yeah, it's a hobby. It's just a hobby. Oh, okay, not and, this. And maybe you want to say all natural. All natural. Yeah. Does the way of collection affect taste, such as do the buckets make better tasting syrup than the tubing? Like, do the buckets leave you their metal taste or the tubing leaving a little rubbery taste? Carl, do you know? No. Other than we've gotten a lot of feedback that yes. um, people really prefer the buckets. Interesting. So I'm not really sure, Ben, but that is a really great question. How do you move the syrup to the collection tank? Because I've heard of people using horses. Tractors or even dogs. Dogs. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to go out this morning, and you're you'll help us collect. But you know, when I was growing up as a girl, um, probably up until I was maybe 12, my dad sugared not here but another property, and we used his workhorses and we got his workhorses. Wow. I remember like trying to hang on to the sleigh, um, like with a big tank, and we were, I had homemade, like my mother had knit mittens, and I, so they weren't very good mittens, and I'd have to hang on because the horses would like lurch, <laughs> and um, all of the sap would just make your mittens soaking wet. And sticky. And sticky, and Ew. cold, <laughs> and yeah, so. You would have loved her dad. Horses, there's a big draft horses. Yes, yeah. I grew up with horses. Oh my goodness. But yes, today we're going to go out and we use an ATV with a little um, tank on the back. Oh, little ATV. Yeah. Okay. How many acres is the sugar bush? Hmm. Not very big. I would say maybe an acre or two that we tap here. Yeah, so there's we have only, like 16 there's... acres here, but we only tap a select few trees. We only have 60 buckets. How many trees are, are in the sugar bush? And does this dictate what kind of collection method is used? Yes, because especially, well this year, if the snow wasn't so deep, I was gonna tap some different trees, but the snow got so deep, so I'm tapping the same ones. And yes, I have to make new rows and and you'll see then that we've tapped trees that are very close together just so that we don't because we have to make um, during the winter we have to like use a tractor to make the, the road so yeah they're all kind of clustered together but there's other trees that we choose not to tap how many taps per trees can you have in the sugar bush one two or can you even go even higher than that? Oh sure, you you'll see some some trees I have four buckets on. Some wow. Trees we just have one, depending on the size, size of, the tree. of the tree. When you do that with the buckets, does it is it kind of like when you get an intravenous line? Like, is it painful for the tree or? Hmm. Well, I, mean, I don't think it's probably the greatest thing for the tree, but I don't <laughs> suppose it hurts it too bad. <laughs> The tree will have a scar. Yes. It, uh, yes, it does. We do. And, and when you when you mill the boards, um, even, um, it has a quite a scar in the wood itself. Whoa! It can actually scar. Yes. Wow. We can probably show you. Well, Val will be able to show you some old tap holes from yeah. last year. How big is your boiler, and how many gallons of sap can you boil at one time? <laughs> It's two by four. It's the boiler. How many gallons in the hole? Oh. Mm -hmm. Not really sure. About 15 gallons of sap. Oh. Can you use the same hole that was used for collecting sap on the tree for multiple seasons? Why or why not? Oh. <laughs> Good question. Well, no. 
because the tree tries to heal itself and then actually it makes a rotten kind of a dead spot in the tree actually so the sap doesn't flow through that area anymore i don't think it would reroute yeah that's a great answer so interesting they've lost, they've lost that vein of the tree yes exactly that's a good way to put it interesting so it's like when i get an intravenous slime why they put it in different areas yes they don't want to, they don't go back through the same hole, right? Yeah. Because they really can't find that hole properly. Interesting. Can you tell by the sap if a tree has an infection? Hmm, no. But some trees, if you get a, if you drill a bad spot, the sap will be yellow. Ew. Can you actually tap other species of trees, like, like maybe like a birch or Absolutely. a pine or? Um, yellow birch. Whoa, do you do that? No, we don't do that. There might be a little bit of ice in them, and that's okay to keep it right in the bucket. Nice and clear today. Looks really good. See, there's ice band in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Yep. I just leave the ice in there? Yeah, if it stays in there, that's great. Actually keeps yeah. this fresh. Now, should it be? Yep, see there's a little hole. There we go, yep. got it. Good. Okay guys, if you, if you listen really carefully, you can actually hear the sap. Hear that? How cool is that? That's like the coolest thing, sweetest thing ever, huh? Reminds me of a church bell, like, tolling. It's just, like, so steady, too. I mean, listen. Maybe maybe if I get my camera in a little crack, I think you see it drip a little. You can actually see it drip. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, careful because it will spill. You ready, Dad? Um, let me see if I can get a better angle. So lift it a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Got it. Don't worry, Dad, I'm a professional. Excellent. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Never done this before. So I've always can, wanted to learn how to do this. You can see too that we've got in those just those few trees, we've got 15 gallons. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Good. Look at that clear sound. Yeah. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. What's that? We're going to be busy boiling all weekend. Maybe I should stay with them, Dad. Maybe not. <laughs> Fun, yeah, then you could pick me up tomorrow. Or... Yeah. I wouldn't be able to get home. You have a phone with GPS. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's the old warehouse someone left.